You try watching the news. You can't watch the news anymore. It's impossible. They've got the football scores going across the screen one way. The Dow Jones Index going across the screen the other. You paid a million quid for a giant flat screen TV and they squeeze the newsreader in a four inch gap. Going like, ah. Here's the news. <laughs> it's impossible. They try anything to stop us watching the news. They say the next piece contains flash photography. What they're saying is they don't want any epileptics to see what's coming up next. <laughs> Fucking leave them alone. <laughs> what have you suffered from that in your photographer? It must be a nightmare, you know? Have you taken it yet? <laughs> Fucking hell, you're right, mate. <laughs> they try anything to stop us watching the news. They say the next piece contains graphic scenes that some viewers may find disturbing. I don't know about you, but the first thing I reach for is the remote. Shut up, there's something fucking good on for once. <laughs> and the satellite link, good luck with watching the satellite link on the news. You can't watch it, it's impossible. They keep losing reception. They go, and now over to John in the middle of Libya. Be some bloke in the middle of Libya going, I am in the middle of Libya. Uh, Fuck, I didn't know the King's speech was on tonight. <laughs> they have no news for deaf people, because that's on at three o'clock in the morning. What they're saying is all deaf people are insomniacs. <laughs> and they don't get to find out what's going on until that bloke pops up in the corner and starts to tell them. Do you know what he's saying? Go to bed. <laughs> it's three in the fucking morning. <laughs> you must be now, yeah. I, I, I saw this the other day. I can't believe this is on our TV. Unbelievable. It's like Channel One Million. Have you seen this? The Babe Station. What the fuck? There's a woman on a bed with her ass in the air doing that. <laughs> what the fuck? That? She looks like a stranded walrus on a bed in a pair of pants. <laughs> and she's on the phone. Who the fuck's she on the phone to? <laughs> the RSPCA. Help me. <laughs> I've got something jammed in my ass. <laughs> Sometimes you'd be sat there and there's two women on that bed with their asses in the air. I mean, you can't concentrate. <laughs> I keep thinking our bathroom needs regrouting. <laughs> Why is it whenever you see a picture of a glamour model, they always stick their asses out like that? Why? You know, because all blokes go, cool. If you actually met a bird like that, he'd freak you out. Hello, darling. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fucking hell's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm a glamour model. You're not going out of Eddie the Eagle, but he never fucking lands. <laughs> Embarrassing bodies, have you seen that? Why do they put that on at tea time? Why the fuck do they put that on at tea time? You'd be tucking into your sausage, egg and beans, and there'd be some bloke on there with piles hanging out of his ass. <laughs> Bodies. So you think the people on there are embarrassed to talk about what they got? Oh, they fuck! <laughs> They're dying to tell us what they got, in they? So tell us your embarrassing problem. Well, it's a bit embarrassing, really. So I, I, that's why I'd rather you point that huge big camera at my hairy man bag. <laughs> so the millions of viewers across the country can have a right good gander <laughs> at my fun pouch in high death. That's right, going up the doctors and he takes you out into the weight room, takes you into the weight room, he goes, pulls your pants down and goes, ah, can everyone see this man's all cock and brown? <laughs> Gock, have you seen him? Cock more like. <laughs> we gave her a brand new look and she looks fantastic. <laughs> he humiliates women all the way through that show, sticks them in front of mirrors, tears their clothes off, goes, ah, you look disgusting, girlfriend. Disgusting. <laughs> then he gives him a new dress, a makeup job, and he goes, you look fantastic. How'd you feel? All right, now you're not fucking shouting at me. 